What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm hitting some yard sales today. Came to this neighborhood thinking there was only about two or three. Turns out they're having a little community sale. So there was quite a few sales to hit. So I decided to aggressively approach these, go through them, hit as many as possible since they're so close together. And here's a free box looking for any treasures in there. Unfortunately, nothing. I have found N64s and DVD VCR combo units in free boxes. So you always have to check regardless. Here's some clothes, not too big into picking up clothes, and there's their vintage. There's the hats here. Eh, could these be vintage? They were a dollar. Um, no, they weren't vintage, just all the same hat. Some shoes, these are like the painter's shoes. You can see the white paint on there. They were two dollars, which I guess is a fair price if you just wanted them. Um, I don't have the time to be getting paint off shoes, so when I buy shoes, I want them to be pretty much ready, maybe just a wipe down, uh, then I can list them. But it is a nice day and I'm really enjoying being out these sales. Didn't get a whole lot of footage because I was just trying to rush through these. See a camera case, that's always a good sign. A dollar, didn't expect to really see anything in here. But uh, yeah, when I dug inside of it, I saw it was a Canon T70, which is pretty good. Definitely good for a dollar. So I grabbed that. Uh, some Black & Decker appliances. Not, not the greatest brand to pick up for resale. Uh, there's, I don't know what that thing is, really some sort of decoration. Um, uh, no games, some g DVDs I don't really care about, some music I don't really care about. I uh, really just want to look for the unique sealed stuff uh, is the best to pick up. Here's some speakers, Panasonic, not the greatest, but uh, over here I see this VTech phone, 75 cents. I'm like, oh no, try not to pick up phones because I have so many to go through and test. A lot of times you have to replace the batteries if you're going to sell them on Amazon to get that premium price. And it's just something I haven't had a lot of time to do. But I did end up picking it up for $0.75. Cents. And at the end of the video, of course, I'll go over everything I found today. It was a pretty great haul today. Uh, there's some fake fruit. Not too interested in reselling fake fruit. Curling irons, again, could be a, a gym in there. You know, a $100 cur curling iron. I don't know. I'm not in the market of curling irons, so I really don't know values of those, but I'm assuming not. And yeah, just some rugs and some home stuff. Not really anything that I'm going to buy to sell. Maybe some people would buy things like that to flip locally. Um, just not in my business model right now. At this garage sale, I see this case and I thought for sure it must be a Pelican case. It was not. It was just, I couldn't find a name on it. I looked everywhere. Uh, but yeah, it was really heavy and I'm like, what could be in this case? It's only $2. It's a really sturdy, nice case. You could see something important was kept in here. So I decided to pop it open here, see what was inside and ugh, cables, tangled cables. Um, <laughs> so I had to decide if I was going to buy this. I'm like, I don't know if I want to mess with those cables. I did see some of the RCA cables in there. Um, so I decided to just go ahead and pick it up anyway do some research on it, try to figure out if it's worth it. I think for $2, just for the case for personal use is worth it. And here's some learning toys, um, like the robotic build stuff. They had it priced at like $25. There was no money to be made. Kids clothes, I got a jacket, some random new product, a lot of the, the VR stuff that you see everywhere now. And some baby wipes I saw there. I could have picked those up, I guess, but over here, I thought this was a Garmin uh, GPS unit. Unfortunately, it's not. It's a grill thermometer, which actually could have been worth something. I don't know. But that Accumate there, that was worth something. $2. I didn't pick it up because it was not what was in the box. So it was only worth like 25 or 30 used anyway. Over here, a lot of people are going to be like, why didn't you pick this stuff up? It was $75 for this Sony audio setup here. And, uh, you know, it's just I have so many. I have literally about 60, 70 units like this that I need to test. So I just don't have time to mess with it. The price wasn't that good. Maybe I could have got it down to 50. I did look up one of the units. It was, you know, one of the lower end units. Probably could have sold it for like $50 plus shipping. But all the units sold, you definitely could have made money. However, over here at Goodwill, uh, you know I'm stopping at Goodwill's after going to the yard sales. And I'm filling up my cart, looking through the shoes and... Found some decent shoe deals today. You see the shelves are kind of empty with the shoes. Uh, but yeah, it turned out to be a really good day out yard sailing and 
thrifting and just being out doing the hustle and it all happened you know within about three hours so here it is here is the haul and it is a big one today awesome day i did not expect to run into so many garage sales today but it turned out to be pretty well i was very fast going through these because they were all on three streets and i just wanted to hit them as much as possible and find all the good stuff before it was gone and well i got a few things let's just start here in the back we got this bread man bread maker excellent condition i paid five dollars for this and i'm going to sell it probably for about 70 to 80 dollars for some reason bread makers are doing very well right now maybe it's because of keto diets and people are making keto bread or it could have something to do with the pandemic that people are just buying more in general or all those things combined i just recently parted out a 200 dollars bread maker a panasonic because uh, the motor didn't work and i still made a hundred dollars just on the parts she told me it worked. If it doesn't work, I can part it out. I'm still going to make money. After I ran into that cute little community neighborhood sale, on the way home, I saw a sign and I just <laughs> darted over to that street and I found a couple things there. And this right here was one of them. This is a Magnavox combo unit. How many times have you seen me pick these up? I sell them on Amazon with the remote. This does not have the remote. So I'll have to buy one. Usually it costs about 15, 20 bucks. That's okay because I only paid $2 for this. Uh, I asked her the price. She said, uh, I don't know, $5. And I, I grunted. <laughs> and she says, I don't know, too. Just take it, please. And um, so I paid her $2 for it. And if it works, I should be able to make about $100 in the end. Also got some Goodwill thrift store finds mixed into this yard sale haul from today. And we got a Sony combo unit here. Uh, unfortunately, this one does not have the remote either. But on eBay, even without the remote, I think $65. And I think I have a couple of Sony remotes that would probably work with this. So we're going to check that out. If I do, I might sell it on Amazon and get around 100 Otherwise, you know, I'll make about 50 bucks on that. One of the yard sales I stopped at, there were these watches just sitting on a table. And I asked the lady how much she wanted for them. And she just said, I don't know. I don't know what I want for them. Make me an offer. And I'm just like, mm, how about $2 a piece? Thinking... So I said, $6 for all of them. She said, sure. <laughs> so I didn't know what these were worth. I didn't. I knew they weren't like high-end watches or anything. But at $2 a piece, I'm going to be selling them between $15, $20. Uh, they're like Casio. They're in amazing condition. Um, I can't even remember what this one is. And I can't read it because my eyesight's bad. And then uh, I got this Stormtrooper watch, um, which was selling for about $40 new on eBay. So maybe like $20 watch. Either way, I picked them up. I didn't want to think about it. Didn't want to look it up. Like I said, I was just trying to get through these sales as fast as possible. Also, the, the random sale I stopped at to get that Magnavox. Uh, this was sitting here. It actually came with a, a brand new uh, bucket of BBs, which is still out in the car. This is just a BB gun. Uh, it's got, whoop, there goes the magazine. It's got the magazine and uh, it takes CO2. But I looked this up, it was like a Daisy Elite 2 Beretta or something like that. Uh, used, you're looking at maybe 30, 40 bucks. So for $2, it's a great pickup. Right below here, we got this Atmosphere game. This is a pretty good game to pick up. If you find the VHS version, the VHS tapes themselves can sell for about 40. Um, what I pay for this, $2.99 at Goodwill. I looked in the box, the DVD is in there, the pieces are all scattered about, so there's a good chance there's, it's missing a piece, but complete, um, you're looking at about 60 to $70. It's in really good condition. I'm not going to lose money because I'm going to make money just selling the DVD and the parts <laughs> if it comes down to that. So it's a no-brainer to pick up this game for $2.99. Hopping over here to Salvation Army Pickup. This is $4.99. This is a massager. I pick these up all the time. This is one of the better ones uh, with heat and a little LCD screen. I'll be able to sell this probably for $39.99. I believe, um, either way, I should make about, let's just say $25, no problem. This was a really cool pickup. This is a Stetson hat. I paid $8 for this. It is a uh, really good condition. Stetson Mountain Sky Crushable 100% wool hat. And uh, I did look this up before I purchased it. One sold at auction for about $65. So I figure, you know, doing a buy it now, I might be able to squeeze 70 to $80 for this hat. So a really cool pickup there. 
Then at Goodwill, I picked up this thing. I don't know what it is exactly. I paid $10. It's some sort of like record player type thing. Newcomb solid state projection equipment. Maybe something not quite. Maybe it goes to a projector and plays sound or something. I don't know, but uh, I looked up the comps and like working condition. It, it was well into the hundreds. So I'm just going to plug it in, see if it turns, describe it the best I can, and then just price it, you know, as is. Uh, someone's definitely going to pick that up. And, you know, I, I think I'll get about $50 profit in the end. Just depends on the condition. So we'll just estimate $40 because I don't like to estimate too high on these videos. Like even in non-working condition, I think I could squeeze $40 out of that. Then over here, I picked up some ink at a hard sell. She had uh, $2 a piece, except for this one was 3 And I forget how many was in there. I think it would have cost me $25. I offered her $12. She said no. I looked up one of these on Amazon, and it was selling for $70. I pointed out that they all expired in like 2007, 2011. That, uh, you know, maybe if it was not expired. But I don't even know if these are going to work. So we came to a price at $15. Now, I didn't, like I said, I didn't look these up, just running through, grabbing what I can. Uh, they're not the greatest ink. Not the greatest ink. I didn't think they'd be that great. But the best are these little ones right here, which were selling for about 15, um, 15 to 17. I got like four of them, so you know, I'll make about $10 a piece on those, so $40 just in those. And then these right here, you know, I'll get my $15 back and then maybe make another $10 on them. Cause they're just not that good they're selling for like 10 bucks and i'll probably just lot them together and sell them all and maybe get a little bit more money so i think it's safe to say i'll make about 50 dollars in that bag still definitely worth picking up then over here we got some cameras now <laughs> i knew these aren't weren't going to be worth that much they're polaroid land cameras had a dollar 50 on each of them i got them both for a dollar so i paid two dollars and i remember there's some model that is worth some money and again, I didn't want to sit there and research it and try to figure it out. For $2, I'm pretty sure, just for decoration as is, I can lot these two together and still make $10 profit. And that's probably what I'll do because they're not worth selling individually really or for any other purpose. But this camera right here is much better. This is a Canon T70. It's in extremely good physical condition. Has the paperwork, a little case, the flash, and uh, the lens. I should be able to sell this for $75 to $150. It just depends, you know, if I can get it to work, which I believe it will work. And with all the accessories, you know, I'll probably price it at minimum $100. I expect to make about $75 on that. Just the body alone, it doesn't really do that good. It's like $20 camera. When you add the lens, uh, a lot of the, the listings I saw was, was doing pretty well. But I only paid a dollar for it. So even if it doesn't work for parts, it doesn't matter what I get for it. We're going to make some money on that. I also picked up this VTEC Deck 6.0 phone for 75 cents. I didn't want to buy it, but when you put 75 cents on it, it's impossible not to make money on these. Unless, of course, they don't work. I popped it open. Looked like everything was in there. You can sell the handsets individually on eBay for like 15 bucks. You can sell the whole thing for like 25 bucks. You just can't go wrong picking it up for 75 cents. Then over here, look at the shoes we picked up. Um, these, some of these are garage sales, some of these are Goodwill. I think these were Goodwill. These are Columbia Gore-Tex boots. Uh, they were five bucks. I picked them up. I'm probably going to price them at about $29.99. And here are some Cabela's Gore-Tex. Uh, these are selling for about 30 plus shipping as well. And they were five dollars. Probably came from the same person, look like the same size. Of course, I'm picking those up. Now that I'm looking at these Hyperdunks, which I think I paid $4 for, they're in really clean condition. I didn't know the value, but I did a brief search for Hyperdunk, and there's a lot of high-end $100 shoes. I'll have to do more research and put it on the screen, because I actually forgot to research these when I got home to come up with a final value. And then right here, I got these Jordans. Now, I paid $10 for these, and I think they're, they sell for about $30 or $40. And they're really clean, except for the white, which I have some good shoe cleaner that will get those black grease stains right off the sides there but i figured i'd buy these give them a shot looks like you know forty dollars pre-owned depending on how well i can clean these up i just picked up some vans and i believe these are new they got like pet hair on them uh, they don't look like they've been worn look like they may maybe once or just put in a closet and just a very dirty closet and just got a little you know dirt there that i can wash off 
But anyway, you know, these were four dollars, or no, these came from Goodwill. These were five dollars. They are saturated, but in this condition and the special color and stuff like that, uh, I still should be able to make at minimum fifteen dollars profit on those. Then I also stopped in Habitat for Humanity Restore, and they had this wireless Sony headset. This is an older one. I've sold this model before, actually pretty recently. I think I sold it for forty plus shipping. Paid nine dollars for it. It's got everything here. I'll get it tested. If it works, I'll price it at $39.99 plus shipping. Somebody will come along and they will buy it. Kind of a weird thing to find in Habitat for Humanity. <laughs> but I also got this in Habitat for Humanity. Green was 25% off. So I paid $7.50 for that. Uh, this is just a cable you put on your roof that heats it and keeps the snow melted so it doesn't collapse your roof. These things are expensive. Like, oh, this one's a smaller one. It's not that long. I think like four feet or something. 30 feet, I was, <laughs> I was really off. But uh, yeah, this thing will sell for about $30, especially when cold weather comes back. Then I picked up this because it's complete inside. It's Clearstream TV. These were selling open box on eBay for about $40. Again, this was 25% off the 18. So we'll make, mm, I don't know, at least $15 on that. We got one more thing. I picked up this. I'm not sure why. This is just a hard case. I, I thought for sure this was going to be a Pelican. This is like really a solid case. It's got uh, nice locks on it, nice handle. Uh, but it was filled with these cables and it was only two bucks. You know, I don't know how cases like this will sell on eBay without being like a brand name. There is some foam attached inside. I might tear the foam out to see if I can find like a, a, a company that made this. But for two dollars, like I could just use it, right? And <laughs> the cables, most of them were tangled. I'm, I'm throwing away pretty much all of them. But just briefly, I pulled out some of these RCA cables, which I bundle with units I sell. A lot of times at Goodwill, they price these at two bucks. These are unused right here. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, I got my money's worth just in these cables. There's even a power supply that's selling for about $18 that goes to a DVD recorder home security system that I looked up and then uh, some sort of cable here it sells for about 15 bucks but yeah let me know anyone if you sell cases like this with no name what would it be worth is it even worth my time should I just keep it I don't know I've only found like one pelican case at a yard sale like last year but there it is a big haul a lot of stuff to go over today I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button for me make sure you're subscribed if you enjoy videos like this there'll be more coming you can find me on Twitter and Instagram, flipping underscore junk. Ring that bell. This has been Wick. Till next time.